Hello and welcome to the Fun Mind Muscle Memory Framework. The Mind Muscle Memory Fun Framework is getting to use all of our capacity, all of our physical uh, skills that we've uh, developed throughout the framework, whether it's uh, developing a more balanced strength and endurance system across the body, uh, in our muscles, or whether it's improving our uh, uh, recovery heart rate, it's working with our flexibility to make sure we have a good muscle pattern, range of motion, and, and good lined up joints. And it's putting all those things and putting them into practice, okay? Putting them into doing something that we really enjoy. And this would be uh, anything, as you can see, from maybe tennis to hiking to, uh, you know, bicycle riding, playing, uh, playing a, a game of softball or baseball, any of these different components where we're doing some physical activities, uh, indoors or outdoors, where it's going to last anywhere from 60 plus minutes, maybe 60, 90 minutes, maybe even two hours. And we want to be able to have a sustained, proper uh, pattern to our muscles and really uh, the best uh, aerobic recovery heart rate in between that time. So we're looking at an expanded amount of time now that we're having fun, that we're doing something that we're really uh, enjoying, it's physical activity and, and of course what is it doing? It's using more energy, it's burning more calories out of our body, it's using our body. Now as we get into this framework, there is the parts that we want to pay attention to and I already mentioned it's 60 or more minutes, 60 uh, to 90 minutes or 90, you know, two hours and we want to make sure that as we're doing this extended amount of time that we maintain proper muscle uh, patterning and maintain proper uh, body kinetics. Now kinetics again is where our body moves fluidly together and in the physics uh, of fitness that we uh, have set forth for you to be able to learn and be educated on, remember there's four spheres of movement. So I'm going to go through those four spheres of movement just to get one more time here and that is going to be all of our body systems uh, are going to be, uh, muscle systems are going to be working together in a specific pattern. Okay, and this patterning is that we have the core movement center, the very middle center point of the body where the right and left half meet is right here, the right and left half at the very center, so at the very center of our spine, and on the, the front and back, the very center, which is just in front of the spine, so just in the middle of the spine, but in front of the spine, where those two planes meet, and then the plane of the body that splits us from top to bottom, right here, that's where our hip, internal hip muscles, called the psoas muscles, and our internal muscles of the rib cage, the diaphragm muscles, they connect right there in the, in the uh, front of the lower back, and we connect that core position right in there. And when we connect that core position, that locks our flat bones, the hip bones, pelvic bones, and the flat bones of our rib cage, it connects those together, okay, internally. And then that's our first sphere of movement, is we're holding and we're locking, we're controlling the hip bones, flat set of bones, with the rib cage. That's our first sphere, right in there. And then the second sphere of movement is the big ball socket here, ball socket of the hip. That's where we first connect the hip and the rib cage, and then the next big joint and the main movers here are the uh, right there at the ball and socket here and the ball and socket of the hip. So we have to line those up and work with those coordinated and patterned properly. Then the third sphere is the hinge joint of the elbow here, right, and the hinge joint of the knee. So the knee and the elbows, they hinge together when we're playing and we're moving, we're doing our activities. The fourth sphere is the multifaceted wrist and the ankle. So it, those are very important to keep in alignment and those have a lot of fine detail to them to keep either our arch support position or our wrist alignment so that we're doing everything properly, whether we're hitting something or we're moving on the ground for an extended period of time. We want to be able to have ourselves maintain the proper kinetics to move. 
okay? And that kinetics is how they all work together and how we control how they work together, I should say, because mind-muscle memory is that we've developed more fine motor skills so that we can coordinate all those different movements of the body for an extended period of time without joint discomfort, without stress in our neck, without stress on our arches, without straining our elbows, we're kinetically moving our body in the outward from the center and then of course even back inward into the middle of our body because if we grab something, we're gonna pull in, we're gonna pull into the middle of our body as well. So it's like reverberating in and out of the center of our body through those spheres and we want to have them all patterned and working the best they can do. So get out there and dance for 60 to 90 minutes, dancing, tennis, uh, hiking, go play baseball or softball, uh, you know, all these different activities, go ice skating, play hockey, all these activities are fun. We need our body conditioned and in control with fine motor skills to do all those for that time frame. So, over 60 minutes, keep it so that you're not at a high heart rate doing it the whole time. If you're doing intervals, you wanna be able to make sure you're recovering the whole time. And that you keep the four spheres of movement in connection and in connective uh, kinetics to make sure that they're working fluidly during the whole time. And have fun, enjoy. I wanna see a smile on face, I'd like to hear about how many, how, how much activity you're able to do now, how much more fun you're having with it, and, uh, and keep up that as you go throughout your whole life, okay? Not just for a, uh, a weekend here, a weekend there, but always, all the time, all right? So uh, I thank you for this, this is the, the, the fun framework to get the most out of your body, the most out of your activities, and have the most fun as you do all those activities and, uh, and get in great shape as you're doing it because it's again, physical activity. So uh, thank you and I look forward to seeing you on the next framework to complete the, uh, the method and I'll see you on the next video.